What can preceptors do to ensure their students get the most out of their rotation? So when you're a preceptor for a PA student, a medical student, or learners in any capacity, it is your moral obligation, I personally think, to make sure that they have an enriching experience. They're there for a short term, and they have a lot of learning objectives, a lot of questions to get through, and they may or may not get to revisit this particular rotation with you. Um, so you really have, just as the students have a short time to make an impression on you, you also have a really short time to reciprocate in that relationship and ensure that they're getting the maximum balance of uh, a good learning opportunity, but also learning a little bit about the profession, also getting to enjoy themselves a little bit, um, and still leaving with enough of a skill set that will help them with the rest of their rotations or even their PA career as a whole. I find uh, one of the most beneficial things I do, which I've had consistent feedback for, is doing academic half days with my students. So every time I have a PA student, I uh, dedicate Friday afternoon as academic half days. Out of the four weeks, for two of the weeks, we'll do a topic of my choice. Um, and for the other two weeks, I let the PA student choose the topic of their choice, which interests them. In the past, students have picked anywhere from, you know, interview skills or um, helping me prepare for the rest of my rotations, um, talking about... Uh, you know, today we did a resume workshop with, uh, with a couple of the second year PA students. Uh, in the past we've talked about health literacy, how PA students and PAs can develop patient education while being health literate. We've talked about tumor markers, we've talked about staging. So really I like to keep it open so the students get the most possible learning out of this. Sometimes they have oncology specific questions and I'm more than happy to assist with that. Sometimes they have broader PA professional related questions and sometimes they have practice related questions. So to be able to provide that extra learning opportunity for them gives them an opportunity to ask questions which otherwise may just remain unanswered if you don't take that extra step. What about on busy clinic days? Is the student case uh, presenting every case to you or do you take um, time between patients or do you wait till after clinic to review? How does that interaction work? With most of the students, I try to ensure that they present directly to the staff physician because in real life, that's what a PA would do. Uh, you would not, as a PA, present to another PA unless you're part of a multidisciplinary team and you're presenting to a lot of uh, clinicians. So it's very rare that I get the student to present directly to me only, unless, of course, it's uh, indicated for the situation that's at hand. Um, sometimes in extremely busy clinics, we don't have the time to discuss after each case, but like, uh, like, most, like most of my students have noticed, the physicians in the department are very well versed with being uh, in academia. They, a lot of them have been practicing for 20 plus years and they've taught hundreds of learners. Um, so they make sure they take the time, even in an extremely busy clinic, to ensure that you've had the at least 30 seconds to ask one burning question about that case and maybe reserving some of the more detailed case, uh, detailed case questions to after the clinic or during our academic half days. How do you see that being beneficial, uh, having them go outside their comfort zone? I, whenever an opportunity arises, I think of it as, would you, as a working PA, do this? And if the answer is yes, my expectation is I will get you to do it. So I routinely present at tumor, board, uh, tumor boards, and with working in nine to ten different sites, I can't go to each tumor board, but if it's a patient I've personally seen, the, physici the automatic physician expectation it is that I will go and present the patient. Um, sometimes the physicians aren't even there and I'm expected to present the case, and I try to extend the same uh, type of expectation onto my students. Of course, I wouldn't expect you to go in blindly without knowing how a tumor board would function in that particular scenario. So we go through the steps, how you would develop a brief history, what are the pertinent uh, uh, points that you definitely need to present, what are the questions you need to ask, why are you presenting this case to tumor board, and it also develops your case presentation skills to a much larger audience um, and allows you to really understand what multi multidisciplinary care is because more and more of medicine is heading towards that and PAs are going to be integral um, as part of that MDT. 
Hi, I'm Maitri and I'm a radiation oncology physician assistant. Um, I'm a McMaster physician assistant program graduate from class of 2014.